October November 2024 paper 4 variant 2 question 1 a so we have a uh, reaction 1 uh, which X form 2y reaction 1 is a first order with respect to the concentration of the X the half-life of the reaction is given 900 second at uh, 20 degrees C part 1 a solution of X with a concentration of 0.18 mole per dm cube is prepared at uh, 20 degrees C calculate the average rate of the reaction one over the first 1800 second so now uh, because it's asking the average rate so we must uh, get the concentration change uh, during this time uh, and it's already given uh, this uh, half-life is uh, 900 second so we know that uh, if you go through uh, two half lives, so because uh, 900 plus 900 is uh, 1800, so means uh, is something like this 0 0.18 mole per dm cube. So it will reduce half and form 0 0.09. Then it will go through another half life to form 0 0.045, means reduce half again. Uh, so this one is 900 second. And this is uh, 900 second so means the concentration after this uh, 1800 second uh, it will be 0 0.045 okay, if you don't want to do this method you can do a simple calculation okay, the concentration of X after uh, 1800 second it will be 0 0.18 the initial concentration over 2 square 2 square means uh, this uh, undergo two half lives so uh, after that uh, is equal to the 0 0.045 okay, so this one is actually same and after that you need to get the change of the concentration so use the initial concentration minus the uh, latest concentration so you will get 0 0.135 so this is the concentration that change during this time so you need to use uh, 0 0.135 over the total time taken so you get uh, 7.5 times 10.85 mole per dm cube per second so this is the average rate uh, for this uh, first 1800 second part 2 complete the rate equation for reaction 1 because I already told you is a first order with respect to this uh, the concentration of the X so uh, is uh, and x is the only reactance now so the rate equation is very uh, easy so rate equal to the k constant times the concentration of x because its first order is power one so uh, you just leave it like this part three show that the rate constant k is uh, 7.7 .7 times 10 point 84 per second this is this is very easy huh? uh, I think the uh, the setter or uh, so they actually uh, worried you you guys don't know this uh, uh, equation uh, so this equation uh, is to calculate the half-life for the first order reaction again huh? first order reaction we use this uh, equation to calculate the half-lives so uh, basically it just uh, long two over the k constant Long 2 is 0 0.693 uh, so then we can easily get the uh, k constant because we know that half-life is uh, 900 uh, second so uh, long 2 is 0, 0 0.693 so uh, that, therefore the k constant uh, is uh, as stated right 7.7 0 times 10.84 part 4 calculates the initial rates of reaction 1 when concentration of x is 0 0.15 or oh, this is very easy because the k constant already obtained and we know that it's a first order so we just substitute the k constant and the concentrations that given 
the initial concentration now is 0 0.15 so the initial rate now is uh, 1.16 times 10 point 24 so because this is uh, uh, this is per second so this is per second and this is a mole per dm cube so you just uh, combine it you get mole per dm cube per second uh, this is a units for the rate here mm, part b catalyst may be uh, homogeneous or heterogeneous Okay. Homogeneous means uh, it's the same phase uh, as the reactant. Heterogeneous means a different phase as a uh, 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 reactant. So now part one. Platinum is a transition element. Explain why transition elements behave as a catalyst. So the example is uh, iron 3 and iron 2, uh, which use for the homogeneous uh, catalysis for the uh, iodide and the peroxidized sulfate. If you want to know uh, the full uh, uh, explanation about this uh, uh, catalysis, uh, so you can refer back to the uh, previous paper, means the uh, paper four one. Uh, so uh, I gave a quite uh, full explanation on this uh, uh, homogeneous catalysis using this iron three and iron two. Um, now. Uh, why they can use as a catalyst? Of course, uh, is they can form the different or variable oxidation states. So because it can be oxidized, it can be reduced. Uh, so it's uh, always can be used as a catalyst. And uh, of course, it must have MDD orbitals. So all these uh, uh, metal or these transition elements uh, they can easily form dative bond with other species and react. So this is the, the, the characteristic of these uh, transition elements because they have the MDD orbital, they can easily form bonds or dative bonds with others. So uh, means the reactants can easily react uh, on the catalyst surface if it's heterogeneous. Part 2. Name the metal catalyst in the Haber process and explain why it is a heterogeneous catalyst. Um, so this one, at least you should know, Haber process is the formations of this ammonia using the nitrogen and hydrogen gas. And the catalyst is iron. So because iron is a solid, so and the reactants are, uh, uh, such as the nitrogen and hydrogen, uh, they are all gases. So therefore, uh, this one, they are different phased. Uh, so solid and gassed. Part three, platinum acts as a heterogeneous catalyst in the removal of a nitrogen dioxide from the exhaust gas um, of car engine. Describe the mode of action uh, of the platinum catalyst in this process. Uh, the mode of action, basically, uh, there are three. First is adsorption. Second is a reaction. After that is a desorption. Uh, so these three uh, major mood of reaction. Then you can uh, explain in uh, more details. Uh, so first, the reactants uh, will uh, adsorb on the catalyst surface. So adsorption of the nitrogen dioxide, you can put the carbon monoxide because these two will react and form the different products. Uh, so after these uh, uh, reactants uh, adsorb on the catalyst surface, uh, then the bonding will get weakened. So for example, the NO bond in this uh, nitrogen oxide will get weakened. Uh, and of course the CO bond uh, uh, in the, this uh, carbon monoxide also will get weakened. After that, uh, it will form a new bonding. Uh, so let's say between the nitrogen and nitrogen atom, uh, it can form a bonding. So this is a product that form after the this uh, uh, catalysis or this uh, heterogeneous uh, catalysis reaction. And uh, after that, uh, once they form the let's say the products like this nitrogen uh, and the CO two, uh, so these products will uh, undergo desorption. So uh, is uh, just uh, desorb from the surface. Means uh, there will be a bond breaks between the products and the catalyst surface. So you just uh, need to explain like this. Huh? Uh, 
it is better for you to explain in more details using the correct species uh, rather than the general one uh, in the marking scheme. Um, part 4. NO2 acts as a homogeneous uh, catalyst in the oxidation of the uh, atmospheric uh, SO2. Right equation for the two reactions that occur are this one you must start with the NO2 with SO2 and you must show the NO2 regenerate because it's asking uh, show that NO2 is a homogeneous catalyst means you must give the two equation shows that the NO2 can regenerate okay so first it start from NO2 uh, oxidize the SO2 itself uh, reduce and form the NO and the SO2 will oxidize to SO3 uh, now the NO will oxidize by oxygen and form the NO2 so NO2 now regenerate and go back and uh, catalyze the reactions again uh, so this is the uh, equations that you must give part C SO2 dissolves in water forming the H2SO3 and H2SO3 can be oxidized under acidic condition. So can be oxidized means if you release electron, yeah? this is a very important concept. When the substance oxidized, so they will release electron. So the relevant electro uh, reactions uh, values are given. So this is the first uh, the electrode reaction, uh, so which involves the H2SO3. Uh, so uh, because it says that now the H2SO3 uh, can be oxidized so most likely it's go left so it will go left and release electron so it will form sulfates later uh, so this is a potential uh, and now uh, there are four equations given here later we need to choose the, the correct uh, reaction uh, to react with this H2SO3 uh, so now what is the question first select the oxidizing agent that could oxidize H2SO3 to the sulfate under acidic condition. Uh, oxidizing agent means uh, it gains electron itself get reduced. So now we need to choose uh, the reaction, the uh, half equations, uh, uh, the reactions uh, which the electropotential is uh, more positive than this one more positive than the first one why because when it's more positive means it will gain electron most more positive it will gain electron and therefore it will undergo reduction and it's a cathode so now uh, if we compare so we 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 will know the second uh, half equation here uh, because the e naught is more positive than the first one here so uh, this is the one that's suitable to be the equations are uh, uh, which to react with the H2SO3 so uh, means this um, half equation it will stay in the reduction form and the H2SO3 uh, this equation uh, will reverse okay because it's get oxidized and need to release electron okay so this is the ideas uh, of this uh, re uh, this uh, uh, oxidation and the re uh, reduction uh, reaction Okay, now the oxidizing agent uh, is quite uh, easy uh, so it's the this uh, uh, BiO uh, plus so this one uh, the bismuth is uh, a positive 3 right because uh, oxygen is negative 2 overall is positive so it's positive 3 so after the reaction uh, so it will reduce to this bismuth and uh, it's 0 so from 3 to 0 means uh, it's reduced uh, so the oxidizing agent it must be this one and after that, you need to uh, construct the full uh, equation from the uh, two half equations. So, of course, you need to choose the, this, uh, the second one and the first one. Okay, as you can see, the electrons number, they are not the same. So, we must make sure the electrons number, they are the same. So, this first equation uh, need to times 3 for all. And the second equation need to times two for all so eventually you get this uh, you get this this equation uh, and this equation with the same numbers of electrons now okay now you just sum up uh, left to left right to right 
So electron cut. Water here cut remains one. Then uh, here hydrogen ion. So this one cut four. This one remain eight. Uh, so now you can sum up all the species on left and all the species on right. So you get this equation. And after that, calculate the uh, E naught cell for the uh, this uh, reaction. Uh, first, uh, you need to get the cathode anode again, uh, because uh, this one is gains electron, so it's a cathode. And this one is a reverse release electron, it's an anode. Okay, cathode is the one that undergo reduction, anode is the one that undergo oxidation. So we use cathode minus anode means use a zero point two eight minus zero point one seven. So we get positive 0 0.11 volt. Okay, that's all. Thank you.